Hello, everybody. Welcome to our seventh annual LDV Vision Summit. Uh, we're happy to do it virtually, and we look forward to seeing you all face to face uh, at our next one, hopefully, when this pandemic is over. So, I'm Evan Nisselson, a founder and general partner of LDV Capital. We are the only venture fund with a thesis of investing in people building businesses powered by visual tech. So, in 2012, I founded LDV Capital with this vision and this thesis after being an entrepreneur for 18 years, building four visual tech businesses. I told everybody we're gonna have a thesis of visual tech and they said that was cute niche in science fiction. However, today there have been billion dollar exits from Zoom, Pinterest, Ring and many others. All industries and sectors are impacted and powered by visual technologies. It's a key part of the tech stack and it's revolutionizing business and society. So I'm honored to say that other people say our thesis is validated. The majority of data our brains analyze is visual. Visual data is critical to the success of artificial intelligence. And I would actually say that AI would not work without analyzing visual data. We do research each summer, in-depth research with our team, and we estimated how many cameras there are gonna be in the world by 2022. We estimated 45 billion, not including logistics and healthcare. And what's surprising and fascinating is that historically we'd all make pictures to share with each other. However, the future images that these computers capture, analyze, majority will never be seen by humans. So, just to reiterate, the definition for us of visual technology is any technology that captures, analyzes, filters, displays, or distributes visual data, usually leveraging computer vision, machine learning, and AI. It's a horizontal thesis, and you're gonna see today a diverse group of sectors that are leveraging visual technologies, from the agriculture industry to healthcare, media, logistics, autonomous vehicles could not operate without LIDAR, radar, and computer vision. We're gonna talk more about that later today. Some examples of visual data, obviously are photos and video, but also thermal, radar, LIDAR, everything across the light spectrum and electromagnetic spectrum. I couldn't do this uh, uh, just by myself and I'm honored to have a fantastic team. To reiterate, I was an entrepreneur for 18 years, built four visual technology businesses in Silicon Valley, New York, and Europe. Abby joined us four years ago to head up operations to build out and scale our platforms, which is part of this summit, and recently promoted to partner. She comes from Morgan Stanley, BCG, and startups. Peter Stern is a serial entrepreneur. He's a venture partner with us, also the CEO of our portfolio, Voyant. You'll hear from him later today. Uh, he built and sold Daytech online and sold for a billion six, sold a company called Zembe to Facebook, and actually also build, used to build radar and LIDAR in his basement. So he knows perception in and out. Merrill is an associate who joined us recently. Kat heads up content marketing, and Merritt is a part-time associate. But we don't have all the answers. We're surrounded, fortunately, and honored to have great experts in resident and expert network. Many are serial entrepreneurs that are experts in either AI, autonomous vehicles, mapping, et cetera. And then we're also honored to, to collaborate with uh, professors, especially Serge, who's one of our experts in residence. You'll hear from him later. This summit was founded with the collaboration with him in 2014. Couldn't do it without him and honored to continue partnering. So we invest very early, seed and pre-seed. And sometimes I say that, you know, everybody says they invest early, but our definition frequently is pre-incorporation of a company, a serial entrepreneur with an alpha prototype. And that was pretty close to when we invested in Jan Eric and his team in 2013. We invested in 2014 and recently they sold to Facebook. We're honored also to partner with great top tier venture funds. Many of them, we co-invest at the early stages and then the top tier funds follow. A little bit more about our unique platform in addition to our thesis. The annual vision summit we talked about. We have a monthly dinner series, obviously pre and post pandemic. 10 times a year, 30 people at each dinner, gender balanced, and there's 1,300 people in the community. And we also build our own software 
to help scale our system, just like we invest in companies that scale with technology. I mentioned our deep dives into different sectors, and you can download these research uh, reports on our website for free. Food and ag is a sector we're very interested in, logistics and manufacturing, healthcare, and much more. But now let's talk about a couple of sectors that we're gonna highlight today, and smarter people than myself will talk in detail about how they're building a business and hopefully leveraging technology and improving the world. Food and ag. So there's an exponential growth in vertical farms. And the opportunities here are amazing. It's still in the early days. The importance of visual tech here is gonna be absolutely critical. Even greenhouses that have a long history and are widespread around the world, they're more legacy and less technology, but very soon visual technologies like a company we just invested in called Garden, you'll hear from Zumanta soon, is leveraging a multi-spectral camera and computer vision platform that will detect the nutritious value of food in real time as it's being grown. There's nothing like this on the market and everybody is saying they can't wait to see it. Another big sector is entertainment, media, and content creation. For example, virtual beings is something that is fascinating and, and, and gaining a lot of traction. This is an example from Fable Studios character, Lucy from Wolves in the Walls. Also fascinating, the metaverse, Roblox. So Lil Nas X had a concert virtually in a virtual world and had 33 million virtual attendees. This is a whole nother leap in how we're gonna be entertained and could not obviously be done without visual technologies. How about Adidas and Nike team up with Bitmoji to let football fans dress their own avatars? It's this whole experience online and it actually has been driven exponentially during this pandemic. Synthetic media is another trend we've been writing about for years and, and showcasing at our annual summit for the last couple of years. The ability to synthetically evolve or create AI video like our company Synthesia. Matthias, who's one of the co-founders, will talk in depth about creating AI video and the next generation of content creating, leveraging visual tech. This I think is a great example also during the pandemic, NBC's Blacklist wasn't able to finish shooting. So they evolved to use animation to finish out their series during the pandemic. How about work? Obviously we're all remote and this is a big topic these days. Some people get crazy and, and, and set up. I even have an influencer light here, which, which makes me laugh. Um, but the next generation, this Zoom and other virtual uh, interactions and meetings, we invested in Headroom and we'll hear from Julian later today that will talk about leveraging computer vision and AI to create more presence, transcribe and create more of a, an in-person experience while virtual. What if those boring two-dimensional conference rooms with a video chat could evolve into a more virtual interactive space? Another important thing that's always been important, but even more so as we go virtual and remote work, it's talent and recruiting. And you're gonna hear from Frida later today from Pymetrics and how they're leveraging AI to match talent in an ethically designed and human-centered way. Another huge sector, very similar to what FinTech was 10 years ago, a legacy industry that everybody thought would never change, has gotten disrupted and empowered exponentially by technology and visual technologies. The construction industry, I think, is at the same place FinTech was 10 years ago. And we're gonna hear from Doreen from GRIPS later today. Another very important subject is climate change. Here's just one of many examples of satellite imagery and how crucial it is to monitor climate change. And we'll hear from Azim from Exponential View. Log logistics and transportation, as we said, autonomous vehicles can't operate without seeing and LIDAR is critical to that. So is autonomous maritime. And the evolution of LIDAR, we're gonna hear from Peter and uh, uh, others later today. What if LIDAR could be the size of your fingertip? 
also thrilled, you know, much smarter people than us. And we honored to collaborate with them. Investors, First Mark, First Round, Lux, TI, DCVC, and M12 will give us our thoughts later. Here's a slide just before I finish up that I always add, I mean, I don't have all the answers, but we try to be thought leaders. We try to think what's happening next so that we can be ready for entrepreneurs when they say, hey, this solution is gonna disrupt a market. These are forecasts that uh, the ones in green are ones I've said in the past and they've come true. And the ones in white, like the satellite selfie or the retina camera, I'm excited for coming soon. It's just the beginning. We're always looking for great people to partner with, invest in, solve huge problems that will hopefully improve the world and create exponential value. Like I said, I don't have all the answers. Let's hear from others. Thanks very much.